Hello, Batman. Do you recognize my voice? Victor Zaz. In the flesh. I'm so happy you remember me. I'll never forget you. I've got a special game planned, Batman. A game just for you. Ring, ring. Speak. Oh, Batman, you sound impatient. That is good. That is very good. You'll need that to solve my little game. You may have heard that I have been providing salvation to the mindless drones lucky enough to answer my calls. Hardly salvation. You've been killing them. That's a question of perspective. For example, from where I'm standing, I can see three little piggies just waiting for me to cure them of life. From their perspective, I'd imagine they see things differently. If you hurt them, Zaz, I will hunt you down. I bet you will. But first, a little game. Right now, somewhere in Arkham City, there's a phone ringing. I know it's a big place, but you need to find it. Take too long, and I kill these piggies. And don't try anything clever. I had a friend help me bounce the signal through every relay from here to Bloodhaven. You'll never find me. Now hang up that phone and start running. Ring. tell you about my first kill, Batman? No, as I am sure you are aware. My parents were dead and I was rich. So rich I could have anything I wanted, but of course, all I wanted was them back. I now know that that was impossible, of course, that their death served a higher purpose. But back then, I had yet to experience the joy of cold steel cutting through warm flesh. I had no idea how I could save these people from the relentless misery of their existence. You should have stayed that way. Really? Then I'll stop now. Find another telephone, Batman. Goodbye. Please hold for Mr. Zaz. I'm sorry, he's not available right now. You need to find the phone.
it. I think I will continue my story. I feel the need to talk, to confess, maybe. I was rich and alone, but not for long, of course. I took to gambling, or maybe it took to me. If only I had been good at it. Ah, I may not be where I am today. As my life spiraled out of control, I desperately formed a plan. A plan to win back my parents' money and be happy again. It didn't work, of course. Plans like that never do. But as I stood outside the iceberg lounge on that hot summer night, I remember feeling something. Hope, maybe. Phone and answer it quick, Batman. was crawling with the disgusting flesh of humanity. You could find anything there, if you had the money, of course. At the beginning, I seemed to be winning. The cards all went my way, and I found myself at the owner's table. For some reason, I thought I would win, that he would play fair. I looked around the table. I saw the people I was against. Card sharks, thugs, princes, and the disgusting midget who ran the place. One by one, they all lost or folded. The chips were piling up, and it was just him and me. Find my phone now, Batman or I'll carve this man's existence into my flesh. called him the penguin, <laughs> even back then. He had both eyes, of course, that little accident hadn't happened yet. And both of them were looking at me when I put down my cards. Six of clubs. Six of diamonds. <sighs> he looked scared. He leaned forward and I could smell the cigar stench on his breath. The six of spades and finally... The Six of Hearts. I felt good. And then 
he started laughing. He belched out smoke and he put his cards down on the table. Card by card, my heart sank. A three, a four, a five, a six, a damn seven! A straight flush ended me there. I was lost and thrown out into the city to die. Penniless. It's me. Run, 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 or the blood will start flowing. that I had been looking for. I stood there on the sprang bridge, looking out at the sea. I felt the warm breeze on my skin, and it felt right. I looked down and imagined myself falling into the blissful arms of my mother. And then he appeared. He held out the knife and demanded my money. My money! Can you believe it? I looked into his cold, desperate eyes, and I saw something familiar, something inevitable. I saw oblivion. I saw that we are all the same, stuck on a miserable loop that demands salvation. So I gave it to him. My flesh is begging you to fail, Batman. Will you? Ring, ring. surprise when I grabbed his knife from his hands. It, it was instinctive. It was beautiful. In one movement, I sliced out his throat and gave him the gift of salvation. It happened so fast, but I felt every joyous sensation. The blood sprayed over my face and I saw what little life was left in his eyes. Leave. But then it was over. I felt lost. Like it had been meaningless. That no one would acknowledge my sacrifice. And then it happened. Without realizing what I was doing, I plunged the knife into my forearm and cut deep. It was incredible. I felt my body elevate to a higher place. It had become... A temple to my work.
Soon, I will carve your life on my arm. <laughs> your life is over. Accept it and prepare yourselves to sink into the oblivion of nothing. <sighs> Not describe with mere words the joy I feel as I make that mark into my flesh. <laughs> Can you feel the time? This is all too much, but isn't it? I'm enjoying myself so much. I really forgot to give that man another. This is not over. It cannot be over. My blade will bathe in the crimson rivers of blood that will pour from the holes I cut into your body. You cannot deny me the mark. I need to make the mark. It's all I have left. <laughs> <laughs> 